A former NBA player says he's spent millions of dollars to build a sports facility on property at DFW Airport because the airport, he says, promised him that development would burst up around him. And he has now filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the airport. Fox 4's Sean Rabb reports. This is the Drive Nation sports facility. Former NBA player Jermaine O'Neal built here at the southern end of the airport. He says he built it on airport property because they promised development around it. He says he's suing because the airport did not keep its word. This process has left me feeling upset, uh, disappointed. Former NBA star Jermaine O'Neal settled in North Texas after his playing days were done. Wanting to grow young players, he built this Drive Nation sports facility. They originally had a, a deal in the city of Keller. Which he and attorney Victor Vidal says was a 99-year lease, but he was approached by the airport, he says, with plans for a mixed-use development. Uh, they told me the direction that they were going into, which was, you know, first of its kind, mixed-use development on the south side of the airport, uh, which was intriguing to me. O'Neill entered into a 40-year lease with the airport and spent close to $14 million of his own money to build the Drive Nation complex. This drawing, attorney Victor Vidal says, is from the airport to O'Neill, depicting the planned development. What it would look like and where it was laid out. Unfortunately, what ended up happening, Sean, is uh, we got a sea of warehouses and a gas station connected uh, with the Whataburger connected. In a statement, the airport wrote, DFW Airport is aware that Drive Nation Sports has filed a lawsuit in regard to its lease agreement with the airport. At this time, the airport has no additional comment regarding the lawsuit. Essentially, the lawsuit is uh, selling Jermaine a bill of goods, in a manner of speaking, empty promises. O'Neill says a national company who he would not name wanted to buy his drive nation if he could get his 40-year lease extended 15 years. He could not. So we, we moved forward, but it was only based off what they said they couldn't legally do. And you're saying you have proof that there are other tenants at the airport who have longer leases? Absolutely. We lay that out in the lawsuit. Uh, what they told him is false. O'Neill went to the NBA in 1996 right out of high school, accustomed to playing contests on a basketball court. But this contest will be played in a different court. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.